What's up, guys? We're back here in Blender with our bodacious rig right here. And if you don't know what bodacious means, then you should watch Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Okay, well, uh, first off, I just want to get this out of the way. I think we've established that I'm not very good at weekly videos. So I'm just not going to guarantee anything. I'll upload when I get the chance. Um, and I'm going away for a week, so I'm not sure how that's going to affect my schedule. Maybe I can record two today, and then I can upload the second one next week. I don't know. So, first off, let's just get this camera out of our face. Actually, let's um, keep it there, and then move it to the second layer. So if we want to see it, you just do Shift and click that layer. Oh, and you press M to move the layer. Uh, to move it, uh, you select the camera, press M, and then click the second little box, and that changes the layer. And so now you just click on the first layer, and it removes it. Uh, shift, click the second layer, and it gets it back. If you just want to see the camera, then click the second, blah, 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 you get the idea. Whoa, did the texture just invert? Nope, I'm just seeing things. Okay. Uh, and there are a few alterations that you might want to do from the last tutorial. Um, so, um, the, um, the only alterations I did were to the, um, the eyebrows. And instead of doing just move and middle, I did, um, an outer, a middle, an inner, an outer, a middle, an inner for both eyebrows. So you can move them up individually, which works well for our purposes. For the next part and this part is the most fun at least in my opinion because it looks really cool so let's move the um uh the light in, into the second layer as well so we have a, a shadeless figure so we're gonna do shift a and then add a um i want to try Hold on. All right, now let's try an empty. All right. So you add an empty and then go into uh, this windmill object data thing and change the display to cube. And now let's scale the y way. Down. Actually, no. Scale y and then zero on the numpad. There. So now you have a nice box that hmm, it slightly resembles the character's head. I guess um, I'm hoping you can guess what we're going to be doing uh, and that's copying uh, the um, copying the face to make a GUI layout of it and if you don't know what GUI stands for it's um, graphical user interface or something like that. Um, uh, I think that's right. It's something user interface. Okay, so let's do um, Shift D again. Oh, uh, Shift D. I'll click scale, scale it to the size of the eyes. We're gonna have to do a bit of resizing. There, that's good enough. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then to the mouth as well. Hmm. How shall we center this? Okay, there. Just have to have a more precise grid. Oh, that doesn't... Oh, whatever. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just a representation. You want it to be slightly accurate, but not 100%. And now let's select everything. And G, move it over to the side. And we're not going to do the eyebrows or the pupils or the teeth and, or any of that stuff. And I'll explain that later. So we're going to do scale 2 to make it twice the size as the um, character said. Now select one eye. Uh, let, let's just do a parenting spree. Uh, and then control P to... Um, 
to make it uh, apparent, uh, you do the child object and then shift right click the parent object. And if you don't understand what I'm saying, it means this is the child, so whatever the parent object, wherever the parent object goes, or however it's resized, the child does that as well. And uh, that. Uh, let, let's see if we can cross parents. Can can we cross parents? Yeah, no, we can't cross parents. Okay, so never mind about that. So now you never want to. Uh, sorry, you never want to um touch these three empties again. Just the outside, because the rest will move with it. I still hear fireworks, but it's two days after the 4th of July. Hmm. So, now what we're going to do is the super, super fun part. Um, Shift S, cursor to selected, to bring the where the objects spawn to the center of that, uh, of the, the face GUI. And then we go to armature, single bone. And now we scroll down, B bone, and um, it, you don't have to do this, but it uh, it makes it a lot more user friendly. So now what you want to do is go into the object uh, panel in the pro in properties, um, scroll down, uh, in display change texture to wire. There and now let's scale, scale Z down, and let's make it a box. Is that box enough? All right. Let's see. Let's let's line it up with the grid. That's not. Oh yeah, it's pretty boxy, I guess. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm saying right now. Oh, let's ch turn make this go to the grid there, and then. This is in the center-ish. Uh, what should we do first? Let's do the pupil first. Put the pupil in the bottom left corner of the eye. Again, it doesn't have to be 100% accurate, but as close as you can get it is the best. So that's good. And now, uh, well, let's, let's actually rename these. I, I've never really done that, but I guess it could be helpful. In the object pan panel and properties, this is properties, right? Uh, yeah, that's properties. Uh, change armature. It's gonna say armature dot zero zero something. Um, and let's change it to right. Uh, uh, you might want to get used to using underscores instead of spaces because sometimes spaces in code can actually mess with the um, actual function of the code. So that's just so something you might want to get used to. So write pupil, ah, oh, god dang it. Okay, write pupil control. Now shift D, copy it, and now let's just change remove that and change right to left there and now huh I'm not exactly sure how we're going to do the teeth um what I think we should do here hold on let's put this to the grid I just can't stand that uh, so what I think we should do is um, shift D there and shift D there as well there and now let's change this to um, and make make sure you're not in edit mode this this is object mode or should it be in edit mode no, it should definitely be an object mode. Uh, hold on. I, I have to check. Hold on. Uh, sorry. Don't exactly... 
Uh, wait, but that's a spoiler. Okay, no, I'll just go to this. Um, okay, yeah, so let's see. Is it all the same object? Okay, my mistake, it's all the same object. So we're going to have to redo a little bit, but that's not a problem. Um, all right. Um, oh yeah, I also forgot, I probably put the my new intro at the start of this video. So, okay, so that was very stupid of me, and before I forget again, whew, okay, so we got our outline again, and we're just going to, we had to redo the armatures anyways, because they were supposed to be one bone, so let's add another single bone, uh, blah, 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 change it to B-bone, da, 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 texture to wire, Scale it down in on the Z axis. And so anyways, I was just saying, what do you think of that uh, intro? I forgot that I was am probably going to put that in the front of this video. The other intro just wasn't working out. I had started it a long time ago. It just wasn't up to my standards. And some of my methods proved to be invalid. It was a nice experiment, though. And I'm not going to change this because I noticed that um, while rebuilding this that these are slightly bigger than the actual eyes. I'm not exactly sure what that is. I think it's because the model isn't quite to um, grid proportions. Um, so, oh, <laughs> almost did the same thing again. Okay, so we put our first um, object into place. And let's change or select the whole thing not just one uh, edge of the bone now shift D shift D put that there and that there and that's not the center why did I go British for a second I don't even know um let's see Actually, I'm going to move this up a bit, like there. And now we just have to do the eyebrows. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to be bothered to name them. And So we have three p points to the eyebrow, if you did it the same way I did. Um, and that is three different shape keys for each eyebrow. And I'm not sure if you've noticed, but for every shape key that we have, we have a bone for it. There's a bone for that. Ah ha 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 pun. Okay, well it's not really a pun. Uh, it's just an overused meme or something like that. Anyways, anyway, not anyways, anyway. Okay. Um, I'm going cuckoo for cocoa puffs. I uh, totally am. So now that we're done with that. Let's change the name of the whole thing to face underscore control. There, and now let's change this to face underscore outline. And now face left right eye. And face left eye. I and th this is an, an unnecessary step but you can do it if you want and what is this this is um face mouth that sounds weird face mouth face mouth face mouth okay so well wow, I'm really crazy today and so one last thing we want to do we want to select these and select um select the outline control P um, object and it's the main outline not an eye or anything well technically you could do it to the eye because it's parented to this and it would be a parent to a parent and blah 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 so let's just um whoa whoa blacked out for a second uh no i didn't really uh i'm not exactly sure i guess i'm going crazy or something you can leave that up to a debate I'm not really sure where i was going with that okay so we want to go into pose mode on this bone and select the uh, total outline of it shift right click the head
head bone, control P, uh, to bone, and now wherever the head go, or wherever the head goes or rotates, uh, it goes as well. The GUI, huh? I really wish I could fix that. Not exactly sure how to get the IK off. This shouldn't happen to you. I think I was fiddling around and that messed up, and somehow the IK thought the that the head was the main was the main armature in this, but it's not. Hopefully, I'll be able to fix that. <clears throat> okay, so that looks good. Oh, I forgot to move these back. Where's my light? There's my light, and move this to the second layer. There we go. And in the next tutorial, we shall uh, actually put the function into each of these uh, bones. So thank you for watching. Please like it if you liked it, and subscribe for more, and stuff like that, and suggest any other things that you think I should do. Okay, bye.